Hello and welcome to Rest Libraries and thank you for watching my other two, I mean other videos. They're really good and if you haven't, please watch them. Okay, and I'll start by explaining what this book is. It's the 170 Story Treehouse. It's written by Andy Griffiths and illustrated by Terry Denton. They're the um, international best-selling. These are international best-selling books and these are books are very funny so i think you'll like them and uh, today i'm going to read you the little peter pippi Pan story inside the book so this book is done by beatrix potty which is familiar to beatrix potter um potter i think her name was and it's not actually done by her but um, they pretended to be her, and they also included her in the story, okay, and this book is just a bit, this part of the book is just like um, a whole new other book, and it's very similar to Peter Rabbit, and this book is really funny, because there are like inflating underpants and something like that. So I hope you enjoy it. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, and their names were Hoppy, Poppy, Lipsy, Loppity, and Little Peter, Pooty Pants. They lived with their mother in a cozy three-bedroom rabbit hole with views from, of tree roots from every window. Now with this, said Mother one morning, I must go out. While I'm gone, you may go down to gather blackberries. But whatever you do, do not go into Farmer McRabbit Grabber's garden, or he will grab you and give you to Mrs. McRabbit Grabber to cook you into a pie, just like your poor father, Big P Pop Poopy Pants, cool blackberries. Hoppy Poppy Lipt and Lipty Lopty, who were good little bunnies, went down to the river to get the blackberries. Bark! I'm a fish. I'm a papa fish. Mm. But little Peter Poopy Pants, who was very naughty as well as very poopy, ran straight away to Farmer McRabbit's Grabber's garden and squeezed himself and his little Peter and his little Poopy Pants under the gate. Naughty boy. First, he visited the potatoes and he had a little nibble and he did a little poop. Yum, poo hat. Next, he visited the peach and had a little nipple and did a little poop. And then he visited the pumpkins in Farmer McRabbit Grabber's precious pumpkin patch. And he, well, I think you can guess what he did. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Then, little Peter Poopy Pants began to feel rather tired from all the nibbling and pooping. So, he laid down in the parsley for a short rest. But soon, he fell fast asleep. <sniffs> While Peter was sleeping, Farmer McRabbit Grabber came along and found him. Aha! You'll be sorry you ever pooped in my garden, he said as he grabbed little Peter Poopy Pants roughly and dropped him into his sack. I'll take you home tonight to Mrs. McRabbit Grabber and she'll bake you into a delicious rabbit pie. Farmer McRabbit Grabber tied up the top of the Zack and went back to his work. By and by, little Peter Poopy Pants woke up, realized what had happened, and started to cry. Oh no, I was trapped in Farmer McRabbit Grabber's sack. How will I ever get out? Just then, Thomasina, Thomasina Tittle Tattle. Just then, along came a mouse called Tomzina Tittle Tattle. She heard little Peter Poopy Pants crying. Don't worry, little Peter Poopy Pants, said Tomzina Tittle Tattle. With my sharp little teeth, I will gnaw a hole in the sack, and you will soon be able to escape. 
Tomazine and Tittle Tattle were quickly and soon there was a tiny hole in the bottom of the sack. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Little Peter Pippi Pants sang Tomazina, Tittle Tattle and raked through the hole, but not for filling not before filling the sack with enough poop to trick Farmer McRabbit Grabber into thinking he was still in there. When Farmer McRabbit Grabber had finished his work and he came back, picked up the sack and carried it home to Mrs. McRabbit Grabber and asked her to cook the contents of the sack into a pie. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Later that day, when Mrs. McRabbit Grabber opened the sack and saw what was in it, she thought it was odd that her husband wanted it cooked for dinner, but nevertheless, she did exactly as he had asked. Stink cloud. Come dinner time, Farmer McRabbit Grabber sat down to eat his pie. He took a ma- big mouthful and then spat it all out again. This pie is filled with poop. Not rabbit, he shouted. Little Peter Poopy Pants has tricked me. Just wait until I get my rabbit grabbing hands on him. The end.